I think he's by himself, maybe. You know what? Hey, little buddy. Yeah, stay right there. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. There's been a brand new DLC that just came out, and I think is going to go perfect with the tree stand video. So, today we're going to be doing another tree stand challenge, but this time on New England Mountains. Now, you guys have been asking me to play on here for a while, and I always forget about this map. And it's got a lot of whitetail, a lot of moose, and I still don't have a diamond, so we might get lucky today, who knows. Anyways, this DLC has a bunch of cool things. The coolest thing, though, is the Quist Red Pro Electronic Collar. So we can go, and we can put this out, like, right there. And I can run back here, and I can call in Whitetail. I've never used it. I don't actually know how this works. And we want to do Deer Bleed. There we go. So that it's just going to keep doing it. <laughs> All right, this is kind of annoying. How do I stop this? And essentially, that's just going to keep going until we call in something, that which is really cool. But yeah, we can go through like every single species on this map here and i think it only shows you the ones that are on the map yeah new england mountains these are all the things that we have here that we can call in which is a lot more convenient than bringing around like 50 different callers now there is a problem though it's not as strong as the other ones but we can set this up somewhere a little bit more open so that when we're up in the tree stand something like this the animals will be right there that's not going to be directly underneath us which We've had problems with in the past in the previous tree stand videos. They get underneath it and you just can't shoot them. So this should help out a bunch. Not only that, but we got the Moradi. I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, model 1894. Really cool looking gun. Very old looking gun. This is what it sounds like. All right. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and we got a moose running. So this is definitely moose area right here. The other thing we're going to use today is the Stenberg Takedown Recurve Bow. This is brand new in the DLC as well. And I've got a cool sight on it, rangefinder sight. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have shot that. They're kind of expensive. But I'm also going to be using the Coleman 22 Wasp. Now, this isn't part of the DLC, but I figured this would be really useful for like the cottontail and stuff like that, because this does classes one and two. So we could take down coyote, cottontail, um, fox and raccoons so this gun is going to be perfect for this map what does it sound like though okay it's pretty damn loud it's not as quiet or as stealthy as a 22 but that's okay so we're actually at the first location i want to be at so if you look here we're on the bottom left hand corner of the map and we got a tree sand set up overlooking this nice field right here so let's go reset the time i'm thinking well let's see what time do things come in here um cottontail is from 10 black bear four to eight there's fox in here. So a lot of these need zones. We don't really need to worry about the need zones. They just kind of tell us that there is an animal in this area. Um, because if it lives around here, we can call it in. This area's got moose, whitetail. Yeah, you know what? Let's set it to like maybe even 630. A little bit early. All right, how dark is it? Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's head out. Now, not only do we need to get there, but we need to set up our collar in a good spot too. So I hope I don't scare anything on the way in. Actually, I'm going to put on some scent eliminator. Don't want to spook anything. But I, I love this map in the morning times. When that light goes through those orange leaves. Oh my god, is it beautiful. Now the only problem with it being this early in the morning. And something I really didn't think about. Is where the sun is coming from. So when you look this way. It's kind of hard to see. A little bit foggy. Hopefully we don't have any problems with that. We should be okay. Alright, there's my stand up in there. We just got to find a good place for this. I'm thinking we put it out right in the middle of the cornfield. See if we can draw in stuff from out in the woods, stuff down by the water, and bring it out right in front of us. There's a little bit of a mound here, so maybe we put it up on this. I don't want it to be too far away. No. Oh, just a ringneck pheasant. All right. So the problem is we could technically shoot a ringneck pheasant, but it needs to be in the air, and I don't have a shotgun. But maybe we'll try to call it in anyways. So I think that's good. Because we can get pretty damn close to them. Or do we even bring it even closer? I might bring it even closer. I want them to be in front of me. I just... There we go. That should be fine. Alright, now let's carefully go up and hop in the stand. See what we can see. Alright, so without the collar going. Give it a little spot here. Oh. Warning call from a moose already. 
but it's kind of hard to see. All right, I see two female moose, but I don't see our male. Calm traveling. You know what? Let's test out the collar here. Hope I can do this quickly. Um, pull it up. Moose. All right. Let's see what they think about that, huh? Oh. Oh, yep. They heard it. Now, the only problem with this thing is it's not as strong as the normal collars. Yup, mating call. But I also don't need to hold it down continuously. I can spot stuff while using it. So it does have a lot of advantages. The only problem is these fuckers are behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this set up with the broadhead arrow. I've never used this before, and I'm bad with the bows. But we get the rangefinder. I, I think we'll be okay. Did it stop working? No, it's still going. Oh, look at that. That's our guy right there. That's the one I want. He's level three. I'm hoping he passes right in front of us, right there. There he is. There he is. Okay. I'm going to switch over. Why can't I spot him? Oh, is that a whitetail? Oh, yeah. Look at the group of whitetail. All right. While that's calling them in, I might switch over and start calling in the whitetail, too. All right. Whitetail. There we go. Now, it should still call them in for a little while. Come on, moose. Because I think there's like a lingering thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the deer are coming in. And now I just need to take down this male moose. Where the hell is he? All right, I'm going to hit him. Oh, I hit him right in the ass. Oh, shit, I missed her. I missed again. All right, let's see if we can spot those whitetail. I, I messed up bad. But we got a buck in there. He's a level two. He's not great, but he's not too bad. That's a 189. Oh, that's a level one. I kind of feel bad about that one, Moose. But he was in a bad, bad place. All right, this caller is fucking annoying. I'm already annoyed. Ooh. Oh, there's a fox over there. Five medium. Now, that's not very good, but there's another fox too, but I can't spot it. They're way outside my range, though. He's right. Oh, I see a shadow. That's the doe. Please don't notice me. Do I just shoot? I hit him, I think. I don't think I hit him. Are you fucking kidding me? Or you know what? Time to switch over. Throughout this bad boy. Did we hit him? Oh yeah, we did. Not sure how good of a hit it was, but we fucking hit him. Alright, everything is spooked now. So, thankfully, we can turn this damn thing off now. This is gonna get annoying quick. Oh, we tried to... You know what? We could have tried to bring in some just the bucks. That, that would have been cool. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the bow yet, but I also really suck at it. So let's pick this bad boy up and let's see. Did anything die? Something died. All right, let's go check. Now, I was really hoping I hit this guy here, but I don't know how I messed up. Could have been just a really bad shot. Oh, yep. Look at that. Hit into the rock. We must have completely missed him. Damn it. And we did hit a moose here. Holy shit. Did we get a vital on that moose? No way. All right. And what about this guy up here? I know we hit him, but I'm guessing it wasn't too good of a hit. This is where Pablo would be super helpful. Yep. No organs hit just now. He's going to be fine, I think. I don't think that's even going to kill him. Let's go after the moose then. Now, the only problem about grabbing the animals now and not waiting to the end is this is kind of digging into our, you know, prime time here. 
Oh, hold up. What's this from? Big Ray Medium. I think this is the male. Oh, yeah, that's our guy. All right, let's go get him then. But yeah, it's kind of digging into our prime time. Oh, he's right there. Um, which kind of sucks. And in all the other videos, we made it a thing where we can't reset the time. But if we're actually going to be grabbing them, we might need to. We'll see, though. All right, buddy. They're not too bad looking. You were a silver. We got him right up the ass all the way through. All right, you know, that's not too bad with the bow then. But I still, I'm, I am not dialed in with it, though. That's a great shot. <laughs> I love how the first one of the day is a booty shot. Okay, there we have it. And yeah, the other guy's not dead yet. All right, we're in our hot pink tent here. <laughs> Actually, it does look pretty good. I thought this was going to be ugly, but that's that's kind of nice. More of a lavender than anything. So let's head down this way. Uh, do we have everything? Did I pick it up? I did. Now, I don't know where to put this one. It's kind of a weird location. I'm thinking maybe we put it right on... I don't know. We'll see. I think we're going to put it over in there. Kind of on the edge. We need somewhere we're going to have a really good line of sight. Ooh. We got something making noise. It's coming from that way. I think that's a bobcat. So that would be something we would need to take out with the new gun. Because I believe the Malmer is 4 to 9. And the bobcats are 3. Class 3. So we can't get them with that. And the other gun that I have, the, the 22, that only does one and two. That doesn't do three. Oh my god, there's a lot going on. What is that, warning call of a bear? Alright, let's stay low, I guess. Calling in a bear would be really cool. Alright, let's see if we can bring stuff right over in here. Can we even see that from the tree stand? Maybe. I don't even know. We'll set it up, though. The only thing I don't like, though, is it kind of felt like the moose left as soon as I stopped calling him in. Where, typically, I could switch between callers and shit like that, and everything would just keep coming in. Like, there's a residual effect. Now, I don't know if that's the case with this, or if it just straight up, they lose interest as soon as you stop. But, we'll have to mess around with that a little bit more. Where's my tree stand? It should be right in front of me. It's so camouflaged, I don't even know where my tree stand is. There it is. So, yeah, I mean, it's not great, but I can kind of see it. Now, if something's standing right in there, I could probably shoot it. If there's something right there, I can probably shoot it. I just realized there's going to be ducks here. Yup. Oh, my God, that pisses me off. Now, I wish I had my 22. Like, not the loud 22. The little pink, pink 22. All right, so let's call in the black bear. See if we can do that. Distress deer collar. That's so, so loud. Now, when I was setting up this tree stand, I heard a black bear over on this side. Oh, God, I hate this collar already. And uh, I heard one way over in there. And then as we just came in today, we heard one from back in there. So this area does have a lot of black bear. Ooh, mating call. Bobcat. Let's try to bring in a bobcat. But it's the worst sound ever, though. Good, good. Okay, they're leaving. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh, turkeys. Nervous traveling? I think it does carry over. What does he think about that? Oh, yeah, he's coming in. Now, it's not a great animal. I'd much prefer the bobcat. Because it's a male bobcat, too. Ooh, warning call. That's not for us. That's for a bobcat. Oh yeah, he's leaving. So it's definitely coming in then. Alright, that might be the shot right there. Shit, he's running. Slow down, little buddy. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Did we get him? Oh, yeah. We slumped him over. Time to stop this damn thing because holy crap is that annoying. Where is it? Stop with that. Oh, my God. So because we have to, you know, run around and claim the bodies too, it kind of means we need to uh, jump around a little bit more. Also, I'm not using the bow as much, you know, because I suck at it. So 
it means we need to do a little bit more hopping than usual. Let's see. Oh, you're a pretty one. Very, very small. Silver, he's only a 21. It's not too bad, I guess. But honestly, the penetration is better than I thought. I thought this gun was going to be ass, but that's, that's not bad at all. $878. So let's move to the third location, I think. Um, which is right up in here. So we have Black Bear 8 till 12. It's already 8. So we, we better hurry up and get in there. Now, there should be bear here, but I don't see any yet. I don't know if it's because we spawned too close or what. All right. I think this might be a really good spot for it right here. Because I think I see my tree stand up in that tree over there. So if we set this up right here, things can come from up in there, up in that area. Come right down into the open. Things can come up from those woods right there, out in the open. And from over in there, out in the open. So it's pretty much the perfect spot. Put it right there. All right, so yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. And when I was setting up this tree stand, I had a deer walk right from that area directly in between these trees and come up right there. But it was only a doe, so I don't know how many groups of whitetail are around here and, you know, how many are in each one, but it's not great. And the bear should be somewhere over in here. So let's start calling them in then. Oh, we got a moose call. So... Let's switch over to moose real quick. Once again, I don't really know if it stacks, but we'll find out. Actually, no, we won't find out. I don't really know how to even test that. Oh, we got a call back from over in there. Mating call moose. Oh, it's pretty close too. You know, I'm going to switch this to whitetail. There might be a whitetail nearby. Oh, hold up, hold up. Is that our moose? Calm traveling. She's still traveling. So I think that means she's still being called in. Oh my God. There's turkeys too. Hold up. Switch it. It's turkey time. Oops. Yeah, she's still coming in. All right. It does stack. Okay, that should be good then. And we can switch to Black Bear. Okay, and then we can switch back to Moose and finish calling in those Moose. Oh, that's a bear. Calm traveling. Yeah, he is coming in. And there's a turkey. All right. I like this color a lot. I want to go for a bear though. So there's the moose. Let's grab the bear. You know what? Might be able to take her out from here. Where's she at? Um... Just a little bit closer. Why is she coming towards me? Okay, we hit her. I don't know if that was a vital. It's a bad hit, I think. Oh, there's a turkey coming in. All right, I might be able to get the turkey too. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't see where the turkey is. I need him to walk out a little bit. All right, let's spot him. It's calm traveling. Shit, it's coming right for me. <gasps> There's a turkey. Okay, let's see if I can get the turkey. Then switch over and get the bear. Okay, there's the bear right there. We got him. I flicked it a little bit too much. But we got him, I think. Did that finish him off? Oh, yeah, it did. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm so bad with the bow and arrow. All right, yeah, no organs hit. She's fine. But <laughs> same can't be said for the bear. 
So the first shot on the bear was definitely a vital. And this one was... Did we even hit him again? Now he may have just died. So we hit him in the lung. We got lucky there, actually. I wasn't quite sure where to hit him there. But difficulty six, pretty good. All right. Man, I haven't gotten a bear in a long time. So it is nine o'clock. Let's head back down and see what we can find over in these fields right here. Now we've got Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. They should be eaten. Um, black bear are kind of in the area. There could be raccoons around the area too. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll just go out there, set it up, see what we can get. Kind of want to bring a better 22 with me though, so I can pick off Cottontail. Because I easily could have like, pew, and just shot that little turkey right there if I had my 22 with me. So now if I go to my inventory, we can bring out our new gun here, our 22. I'm going to set that up on the zero spot, which is a little bit weird, but it should be fine. So let's go put this out here. I'm thinking... You know, not too far away, but I also kind of want to place it out in the middle of the field so I don't have to listen to the damn thing. Um, oh my god, can you imagine this with the boar collar? That'd be obnoxious. This makes me never want to do a tree stand video ever again. Um, let's set this up. Uh, we'll set it up here. I mean, we know that there's nothing out there in the field. So, it's probably smarter to be closer. So, yeah, we'll just put it there. Oh, I'm traveling. Wow. I think that uh, I think that moose collar goes a lot farther than they say it does. All right. This will be a perfect shot with a rifle. I kind of want to try with the bow again. It's only one way to get better. Practice. Also, I want to see how long until she goes back if I stop this. Does she instantly leave? No. Yes, she instantly leaves. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Okay, I don't know why, but my rangefinder is not working. Um, so I'm going to have to spot her and see what happens. Oh, she's attentive. She's closer than I thought, so I am just going to loose one at her. Maybe a little bit high. There we go. Got her. What are you going to do, lady? Let's see, how bad did we hit her? Oh, she's fine. All right, time to blast her then. Okay. Well, that didn't work well. So, to be completely honest, even though we're not at the end of the video, I'm, yeah, I'm not really liking this much. I really am not a fan of this collar. Either I don't know how to use it very well, which, you know, that could be it. Or it just, it sucks. And I think we both know which one it is. Um, it's probably me. <laughs> Let's see. Did I hit her? So this is the part where having Pablo would be really helpful. Um, bleed rate very low. Also, I'm not sure why, but my bow, the, the rangefinder is not working. Oh, you got to click R. What? That sucks. Oh, I could have known exactly. Oh, okay. Every time you're focused on something, it tells you where you need to shoot. So like if I'm going to shoot here, let me see if I can see. Uh, it doesn't actually show me. Um, But if say I want to shoot all the way over there, it's far. If I want to shoot there. I think I need to aim at the green dot. If I want to shoot over there, I need to aim at the green dot. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now I know how it works. <laughs> God damn it. All right. So it is 1030. You know what? I think moose are going from... Oh, it's white tail time right now. That's why we haven't been seeing any. So that's why we didn't call any in over there. Let's go to this one. There might be some white tail at that lake. Oh, wait, I've got my 22 with me. I can blast those goddamn ducks. Ooh, okay, you know what? It's fine. Things are things are going well now. I feel a lot better. So let's set this annoying son of a bitch right there. <laughs> and let's go get up in the sand. Oh, and it looks like our ducks have touched down. 
Calm eating right beneath our feet right there. So I haven't heard the turkeys make a call back. So I'm kind of thinking maybe. I just. All right. Well, <laughs> they're gone now. I didn't hear a warning call from the turkeys. I think we're okay. Oh, there is a turkey there. Okay. I'm sorry about that, turkey. Oh, I don't want to do that. All right. Let's see. It was coming from right over in here. Oh, there it is. All right. It's only a level two. Not great. Not bad. You know what? I might just... I might just hit him from here. Let's see. Right. There we go. Problem solved. Hit him twice. He'll die. Oh, there's a rabbit. Where? So, we got ourselves a... Green wing teal. It's a silver. They go diamond at 480. So, she's not... Oh, yeah. She's not very good. Okay. Yeah, this spot is not as good as I thought it was. A little bit disappointed with it. And let's see here. We got ourselves a gold turkey, 4.29. Okay, hit him in the spine. And then we shot him again, hit him in the lung. Much better. Okay. And that is 990 bucks. Nice. All right, so I had to go back and grab it because I did the same thing again. I left it behind. And when I went back there, I heard a bobcat call. So I sat there for like 5, 10 minutes trying to wait for the bobcat to come in. The bobcat did not come in. So <laughs> we're back here again. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck this time. Ooh, turkey. It's not too far away. We might be able to get ourselves uh, a little bit of redemption for the turkey. Ooh, hold up. Was that a turkey? Oh, I heard something move. Oh, yeah. There's a turkey right there. All right. That's kind of perfect. I'm going to wait and see if he goes out in the open more. I think he's by himself, maybe. You know what? Hey, little buddy. Yeah, stay right there. Got him. Oh, I love this bow now. I think there's something there. I heard a little bit of movement. But I don't think it's a deer. Oh, hey, little bud. Oh, okay. Let's we'll see if I can get him. <sighs> Come on. All right, let's see if we can actually call it in to hold it still. Okay, there we go. Stop moving. Got him. Oh, what a shot. I was trying to call in a deer. I knew I heard something. There we go. Did not expect a bobcat to be walking by. I don't know why he came up over in this area. Must have just been traveling. That was very lucky. Damn, that kind of felt like real hunting for a while. Just sitting there and not a whole lot of shit happening. All right, let's check out the turkey first. This was a decent turkey, 4.4. Yeah, it's pretty damn good turkey. And pretty damn good shot, too. Wow, that did not penetrate very far. I would expect that to go, like, all the way through the turkey, but guess not. All right. Now let's check out this one. That bow is probably my favorite thing now. All right, let's see. Oh, my God, we got a heart shot on him. Damn, what a shot. That is cool. I didn't expect to get any today, let alone two. And especially not with a heart shot on with a bow and arrow. That thing is so good. That makes that bow so much better. You know what? I'd love to go to a place like this in real life. I miss it. The Adirondacks, I've been to a few mountains that look just like this. And just, I don't know, finding a place like this and just sitting down, feeling the air, looking out at the mountains in the distance. 
you know, hearing the birds chirp and just, I love being connected to nature. And it's been so, so long since I felt actually connected to nature. Damn, I miss this shit so much, but that's all right. I'll replicate it in a video game. <laughs> Instead of going back to the first place, I say we go back here. There should be moose drinking, so shouldn't be too hard to pick off something with a bow. Earlier today, I stopped by when I was setting up like the stands and stuff, and I 100% saw moose. But it's moose drinking time, and I don't see any moose here. Ooh, hold up. Speaking of moose, here we go. Ooh. You know what? This actually might come in handy right now. Oh yeah, that got their attention. Those are some horny moose. That's the one that I want. What are you, just a female? All right. Oh, that's a nice four. It's a very nice four. All right, I'm gonna stop with the collar. I hope that doesn't mean they're gonna go back to where their like actual zone is down there. Hope they'll stay. Um, but when he puts his head down, I'm hoping I can maybe get him in the neck. Now, why were the females still coming in? They seem more interested than the males were. There we go. That's what we need. Hit him. I think it was the next shot. Oh, we died. I hit him too. Nice. That moose is pissed off. I hit her. He's angry. Stop moving. I tried to predict it, but wasn't able to. I hit him, I think. No, hey, chill. Chill, buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, switch over to my Malmer. Did I hit him? Um, well, let's check the map here. I don't think so. Okay, that guy died. What the hell happened here? Oh, he did die. Nice. Or is that a female? Nope, that is him. All right. I love this bow. Well, actually, I love the sight on the bow. Let's see. We got him. Oh, okay. So he was in the bushes. It was kind of hard to see. And yeah, we shot him in the ass. Well, we, <laughs> we shot him in the back and it came out the ass. And then we shot him again. Just barely missed the vital. Hit him in the spine. All right. Now let's check out this guy. Now, I don't think he's going to be a diamond. I don't think he's that good, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's still level four, so I'll take it. Let's see. Ooh, you've got a nice color, actually. Well, you're pretty good looking. Oh, look at that. Yup. It snapped off right in his neck. What a shot. That is cool. Red fox mating call. Okay. Let's set up a red fox. I don't think it matters, but we'll just have that set. Oh, I don't want that while I'm claiming this. Let's see. Uh, here's a gold. A beautiful neck shot. That was so risky. I should have aimed higher. But we got him. He was 203. Diamond for them is 274. Well, I've been sitting here for a while. I don't think he wants to come in, but there's a few ducks that want to come in. Oh my god, he almost hit me. So, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to take out some ducks with a bow and arrow. Alright, where are those stupid little ducks? That's a one. All right, stay right there. All right. Let's see. Do I have the right arrows in? I do. Can I get this little dude? Line it up on him. Um, yeah, that's a yes. And that is amazing. All right, let me see. Um, wait, hold up. Oh, what a shot. Was that in the neck? Nope. It actually kind of missed, but somehow it... You know, it still gave it to us. I'll still take it. Though. That's pretty damn good. All right. That's fun. That is super fun. Ooh. Mating call raccoon. All right. It's close enough. I think we can actually pull it in. 
I've been waiting for a raccoon all day. I kind of wanted to bring in Whitetail, but this will be fine too. Alright, I'm going to put this not too far out in front of me, but not too close. Still a little bit closer than last time. Let's put it down right there. Because the raccoon call is not that annoying. Yeah, I think that raccoon's pissed off. Yep, alarmed. Shit. No. Don't be alarmed. He definitely saw me. But as soon as he calms down, I'm pretty sure it'll bring him in. Calm traveling? Yeah. He looks a little bit weird, actually. He's got kind of a weird pattern. Ooh. Maiden call for a moose. So we'll take down the raccoon and might be able to bring in a moose. Oh, it's a moose. The fuck? Okay. There we go. Got a vital on her. Where'd my raccoon go? I want my damn raccoon. What the hell is that? Oh! I knew I've been... Alright, I... <laughs> for the last, like, ten minutes, I knew I've been hearing something. Didn't know it was a ring-neck pheasant, though. Alright, he's kind of funky looking. I'm gonna take him out. Real quiet and stealthy-like. I don't want too much pressure on this area. Okay, he's down. The raccoon should still be fine to come in. I don't think he's going to because he's being a shithead. But he should be able to still. Alright, so I sat here for like 20 minutes and yeah. The fox didn't want to come over. The, the raccoon didn't want to come over. So I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> so we're going to get down and we're going to claim our stuff. And you know what? I might go look for that raccoon because I really want to see if he was actually good or not. This was a molting male. Grounded. Yeah, of course. I still wish it would tell you what it was. Just like, oh yeah, you don't get the trophy. But, hey, it would have been this. That's ah, kind of stupid that it doesn't even tell you that. I don't like that at all. But we got him. And I kind of want to leave this fucking thing out here, to be honest. I hate it so much. Uh, where is it though? There it is. So, let's go after this moose here. Oh, oh my god. God, of course it was just sitting there the whole fucking time. Yeah, that makes me... That makes me feel some things I don't want to feel. I'm pretty fucking at this. But yeah, the strength of the collar is not that high, so that's probably why. But, again, another reason why this collar is not that great. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. You know, I wish I actually had a raccoon dog. I could send Pablo out there and he'd go chase up a tree or something. They really should add other types of dogs to the game. Alright, let's see. You know, the dogs should be free to the game, but if you want additional types of dogs for, like, specific things, then you should be able to pay for, like, a DLC edition. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, decent shot. Live or lung. Okay. 865. Now, I'm gonna go find that fucking raccoon. Oh, look at that. There's a moose. Alright, but I'm not worried about any moose. Not at all. I'm worried about this raccoon, which I have to go back and find his tracks again. Because I lost him. Okay, I'm going to pull out my phone. That, that's going to help out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Why are you looking at me like that, huh? Oh, she's aggressive. That's kind of cool. Um, Technically, this gun will work. <laughs> Oh, I just kind of have to... There we go. Oh, she was dead and running. That raccoon is long gone, though. Damn. That's a fun gun. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. I think can shoot. All right, let's see. <laughs> Look at the tongue sticking out. We brained her. Beautiful. Alright, that's better than any raccoon. <gasps> there he is. 
Oh, he's 9 to 11. Okay. Let's go after him. There you are, buddy. There we go. Holy fuck. I mean, that's a fun gun. <laughs> it's loud, but that's a fun gun. Okay. Let's see. We hit him with a decent shot. Yeah, he's brown. Um, I guess he kind of looks normal. And he's a gold. 10.53. Yeah, he's pretty damn good. All right. And when I look up the common raccoon, brown is 37%. So yeah, he's very common. <laughs> oh, damn. We ripped through him and hit the lung. So that's how we got a good shot. We hit him in the ass. Hit him so deep in the ass it went out the lung. All right. There we go. So yeah, that was the tree stand only challenge, which of course, like usual at the end, turns into a little bit more than just tree stand only. But um, my thoughts are, it's kind of shitty. Uh, that little device, it's not great. I love the bow, but I think I like the sight more, which is not part of the pack. Um, wait, is it part of the pack? I don't know. That might be part of the pack. Anyways, uh, I like the gun though. The, the Marathi, that's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of other guns that might be better. And also, I don't have great ammo for this yet, so I can't really use it. I need a better handgun score so I can get better ammo so I can actually use this thing. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty solid DLC, and I think it could be super useful. But but I think there still might be a bug with it where as soon as you stop using it, the animals instantly lose interest, which it makes it kind of hard to record content because it's so, so fucking obnoxious. But if you want to set this up in a lake on tail or row or something and have like a million red deer and fallow deer lined up, I think it'd be pretty damn good. And then you can kind of get them all bunched up in a really good shooting area. But I definitely don't think it's going to take care of like all the collars. I'm probably just going to walk around with collars from now on. I think it's a very situational thing. Oh, and for a little bit of uh, behind the scenes shit here. Um, this is when I was setting up my tree stands. I was walking around trying to find out a place to go. And I saw this girl just standing there. So Pablo and I went over and we stopped and checked her out and uh, yeah, she was kind of clueless. So anyways, I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. You guys are the best. And I'd like to give an extra special thanks to Bravo J. They're my legendary supporters. So thank you. I really appreciate it. So if you guys liked today's video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys want to see more videos like this one in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. My name is Rooster and I'll see you in the next one.